It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be identifying the solutions of a quadratic equation. Here's our question. We're asked, what are the solutions of this equation? x squared, add 7x, add 12 equals 0. And we're given four answer choices. So to solve this, I am going to factor this quadratic function first. So I'm going to first set up an area model, because that's my favorite way to factor where I'm going to come up with a set of terms that when multiplied, I get these three terms. So I know that this first box in my area model is going to represent my first term x squared, and this bottom right box is going to represent our third term, our constant, which is positive 12. And then my middle boxes are going to represent my middle term, 7x. And I know that when I add this box to this box, it needs to equal 7x. So let's start out by understanding that we are going to do x times x is x squared. We don't know x times what is going to equal a value that when added to this constant plus x is going to equal 7x. So we have to factor 12. And we want to know what factors of 12 when multiplied are going to give us 12, and when added are going to give us 7x. So we know that the factors are 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So these six numbers are divided into 12 with no remainder. Okay? We know that 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 add 4 gives us our 7. So our terms that we're looking for in these boxes are going to be 3 and 4. So x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 4 will equal this. We're going to check it by saying 3 times x is 3x. x times 4 is 4x. 3x add 4x is 7x. And then 3 times 4 is 12. All right, let's clear our workspace and write down our factors. x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 4 equals 0 is an equivalent equation. So now we're going to use the zero product property where we set each factor equal to 0. And then we solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. And that is going to give me x is equal to negative 3. Here I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. And that's going to give me x equals negative 4. And my solutions are A, x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 4. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time.